Okay, today we're going to be taking a CSV file, which is a plain text file. It's uh, a comma separated file. So basically, it's a spreadsheet using commas to separate fields. Think of it as a spreadsheet, as I said, you know, for those of you who don't know, like an Excel file, right? But it's plain text, can open up in a text editor or your office, whether you use LibreOffice or Google Docs or Microsoft Office. This is plain text, all those can open up. So we're going to take that, a CSV file, and convert it into a SQLite database file. Uh, and then we'll look at taking a SQLite like, like database file, taking the table and exporting it to a CSV file. So the first thing we need is a CSV file to convert over to a SQLite database table. And I could have started off with one on my computer already, but I'm gonna generate one real quick. This is something I've gone over in previous videos, but I just like to show it again because it's so useful. If you ever need to generate fake user data uh, for projects, uh, randomuser.me is a great website. I'm gonna use wget that says, go to this website. It's saying, get a hundred results. You can give whatever number you want. And then I'm gonna say, export it as a CSV file. And we're gonna save it to a file. Uh, right where we're at as people.csv. I gave the full path their name, but I could have just given it the CSV file. So we're gonna do that. And now I can cat out that file and show what's inside it. I can also use Vim as a text editor to go into it. And you can see the first line is telling what each column is, whether it's gender or name title, name first, name last, location, street, number, that sort of stuff. But then each line after that is the random information that we generated. I can, if we want to view that a little bit different, I can use uh, VisiData, also uh, shortcut it as VD, and I can give it that file name, and it will display, and I can go through it from columns and rows, rows like that. And then, co of course, you can use, as I said, LibreOffice to open up a file like that, or whatever Office software you use. Uh, and then I'll click OK here, and there we go. We have it as a spreadsheet, uh, if you prefer that view. So we have that file, and what we want to do now is, uh, well, not close our shell. Let's reopen that. Um, we are going to take that and we are going to convert it to a uh, SQLite database table. And here we go. First thing we need to do is, again, I'm in an empty folder besides the file we just created. I'm gonna use SQLite 3 and give it a file name. Uh, you don't have to give it the .sql uh, ITE extension. Some people use DB, uh, but I have found that some programs such as VisiData, if you don't give it that S, uh, SQLite extension, it doesn't recognize what file it is, um, where normally uh, VisiData would recognize it. So you either need to tell it it's a SQLite database or give it that extension. So just to make things easy, I'm gonna give it that extension, but just know in general, extensions don't matter uh, to most programs. Uh, so I'm gonna say SQLite 3, I'm just gonna call it people.sqlite. And uh, there, now I need to set the mode. If I don't do this, it's not gonna, it will import what I tell it to, but not properly. But I'm gonna say mode.csv. Okay, our mode is set to CSV. Okay, so next what we wanna do, we want to dot import the name of our file, so people.csv. And then I will say, let's create a table called people. That's it. We just created a table called people and it contains the information from that CSV file using that first line as each field name. So if I want to, I can check the field names by using this command. I can say uh, pragama, I don't know how you say that, uh, table underscore info and then the name of the table and it will list what each field is. And by default, it's just gonna import each one as a text style field rather than a char or an integer, which is fine by me. Some people might have issues with that uh, depending on how big your database is. But for small things like this, it, it doesn't really matter. Uh, and then next we're going to, we'll just look at everything in that table, say select all from people and it'll list everything that's in there, which was what is in our CSV file. Great, Let you know what, let's do it again. Let's go ahead and quit out of this. And I am going to generate a new CS file. I'm just going to overwrite the old one. So I just generated 100 new names and user information, dumped it into that file. So again, I'm going to SQLite and use the same database file, but we're going to create a new table. So again, I'm going to say mode, oh, sorry, mode CSV. And then I'm going to say dot import. And we're going to give it that same file name. So people.csv. And I'll just give it another table name. I'll just say table uh, or people two. And that's it. So again, if I dot tables, it will list all the tables. We have people and people too. And again, I can uh, select all from people too. And you can see that you have to do a semicolon at the end there. I have another table. Let's do it one more time, just so we have a couple of tables, not exit. We're going to do, sorry, dot quit. 
And again, we're going to generate 100 new names, dump it, overwrite the old file. And then I'm going to go SQLite 3, people.sqlite. And then again, I'm going to say mode CSV. And again, if you don't do mode CSV, it will import the text, but basically all the text is, I think, like one item instead of individual row, rows and columns. So mode.csv, and then we'll say dot import. We're going to import the people.csv, and we'll call this one customers, right? Maybe this is a customer database. Boom. If we do select all from customers, ah. I type something wrong. Select all from, ah, not form, from. There we go. So now we have three tables within this one database file. Dot quit out of that. Now we have those. Let's say we want to export one of those back out to a CSV file. Well, uh, we could, again, go into that database. And we can run all these commands. And it will dump it to the screen. But we want to dump it to a file. So let's actually quit out of that. And what I'm going to say is, I'm going to say, let's look at this database. But we're going to give it some parameters. We're going to say dash header which means take the first, uh, make the first line of the output the names of each column. And of course, we're going to say dash CSV because we want to export it as a CSV file. And from this point, we can give it our SQL command. So se select yeah, all from, and we'll just do people, all right, our people table. Don't forget the semicolon at the end there. That's it. If we do that, it's dumping it to the screen. Perfect. Now, if we just want to put it in a file, I can just say uh, people export dot CSV. And again, I can open that up in whatever program I want. I'll just say uh, we'll use Visi data. And there we go. We have our CSV file. We'll quit out of that. Now, that's great. But again, we have multiple tables. So uh, let's say we wanted to write a script or at least in this case, we'll write two lines of code where we can actually list all our tables, select the table we want from that list, and then export it to a file. So what we'll do here is uh, we'll do that same command if we were to export it, but instead of putting it, oh, I'm sorry, not that same command just yet, a similar command, we're going to say SQLite 3, the name of our file, and then instead of select all from people, we're just going to give it the command of dot tables. And when we do that, it's going to list our tables. We have customers, people, and people too. Okay, so you might think, oh, maybe I can put this right into FCF. Because you know I love FCF, right? So we're going to do that, but it lists them all as one line. So what we need to do instead is pipe it before FCF into something that will take the spaces and make them new line characters. So here we're using a TR command. It's saying, okay, make each space new line character, which isn't going to be quite right. We need to add one more thing, but I'm going to show you the output of this, right? So it outported, outported, it outputted the information we want each table, but we have all these extra empty lines. Let's go ahead and just say after that, we're going to say sort unique. There's probably other ways to do this might be better, but it's going to sort them all, make sure there's no duplicates. So basically all those blank lines is going to become one blank line. So we're going to have one blank line, but that's okay, right? So we have our blank line, but we can choose our output and then it gives that as an output. So that's what we want. We're going to throw that into a variable called table, right? So wrap this in quotation marks and a dollar sign and parentheses saying, take the output of this command and put it into this variable table. And I can choose my table. We'll say people. And if I echo dollar sign table, it says people. If I run it again and I choose customers, if I echo table, it now says customers. So now we can take that variable and put that up into this command. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to say, instead of people, I'm going to say table. And I'm going to say output.csv, right? Or I can actually use the table name. And that way I can create tables uh, CSV files based on the table name. Uh, just uh, make sure you're not going to overwrite something important. Always have backups because uh, in this case, I already have a CSV file called people. So if I choose the people table, it's going to override that. Um, so yeah, we'll have that. And I actually just exported a customer CSV file. If I run our first command again here, I can select people two and then run that second command. 
And now if I list out my files, you can see that I have a people's to or a people to dot CSV. I can cut that out. And that's it. We imported and export. It's pretty simple. Uh, I tried to go quick so that I don't waste your time. But at the same time, it's very simple. If you look in the link in the description of this video, I have notes on this. It's literally, if you look at it, I'm one. Uh, we got one for generating the CSV file. Then we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight lines of doing everything, importing, exporting, converting, checking. Um, so go ahead and check out the link in the description of the video, as well as my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. And uh, there you, there's a support section if you could financially support me. That's great. If not, like, share, subscribe, comment below. I thank you for watching. As always, I hope that you have a great day, and I hope I see some of you on my Patreon page. There's a link to that in the description as well. Have a great day.